New at 5.30 tonight, we take you back on the journey of a six-year-old boy getting the chance to hear for the very first time. We first introduced you to Mason Drake last night. Tonight, we are given incredible access as we take you inside the operating room where Mason's life is forever changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound of joy, <laughs> giggles, and real love fill this room at Upstate University Hospital <laughs> as Mason Drake gets ready for the surgery that will change his life. <laughs> but this six-year-old from New Haven has spent his life in silence, unable to hear the voices of his parents. That might have been what they did. I think it was pain. Or the sound of his own undeniable laugh. <laughs> We're with Mason and his family as they prepare for a procedure that for so long they thought wasn't possible. It's kind of, you know, what we've always hoped for, but, you know, we kind of felt like it was just something that just wasn't possible. I can't because for so long we were told it wasn't going to happen, so for it to finally be happening is kind of unbelievable. <laughs> we first met Mason at one of his favorite places, Kids Club in Phoenix, a place where he can be just like everyone else. A brain malformation left him deaf since birth and unable to speak or walk on his own. But inside the halls of the Center for Children's Surgery at Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital, life as Mason knows it is about to change. I am really excited. I mean, I'm just excited for him to hear family and friends and I mean, just everything. It's just gonna be a huge. You ready, buddy? Wrapped in the arms of his father, Mason heads toward his new future. Do you want one? <laughs> a life filled with sound. Love you, buddy. He has never known. Come on in. Just putting everything together, you know, everything he's been missing for the last six years. It's kind of like it opens the door for, you know, all new possibilities and, you know, I mean, everything that we've thought was out of reach, you know, just seems more attainable now. Inside the operating room, Dr. Charles Woods will head up the team, giving Mason the incredible gift of sound. He will implant bilateral cochlear implants, allowing Mason to hear for the very first time. What the implant actually does is stimulates the eighth nerve, which is our hearing nerve, directly to the brain. The team of nine doctors and nurses are ready to go. Kevin Drake gives Mason a kiss before doctors put him to sleep. It will take several hours for Dr. Woods to install the implants. Dr. Woods tells Mason's parents he's confident the surgery will be a success. Whether Mason develops speech later on is the next challenge. That would be the goal, okay, that he develops speech by hearing. Um, and obviously he's totally deaf now, okay. But most kids with cochlear implants develop speech. Down the hallway, Mason's parents sit anxiously in the waiting room, hopeful for what's to come. We told the other kids that's what they're getting for Christmas as a brother that can hear. And his journey is well underway. Right now, Mason is still recovering in the hospital. Oh, a lot of fans from Mason developing in our community tonight, you can tell. Well, his mom sent me this picture of him right after surgery. Here he is recovering. That's the cute. doctor says they tested the implants and they stimulated the nerves beautifully. Hmm. Now, doctors will wait several weeks until the swelling goes down. They will then put on an outside unit that will speak with the device they've implanted inside Mason. This is remarkable uh, technology. I was talking to Megan about this story earlier today. I said, does this mean that he gets to talk someday? Because well, he, he obviously, you know, he's communicative in, in his giggles and in laughs. In so many other ways. Yeah, so that, what do they that, think? that sort of is the hope. Dr. Wood says there's about a 65 to 75 percent chance that he's going to develop speech and become verbal. That it'll probably take about a year and a half to maybe two years before he actually starts forming words. Oh, what a moment. That yeah, we're going to be with Mason, by the way, when the device is turned on and he's able to hear for the very first time, hopefully sometime before Christmas. That really is a gift for the whole family, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Thank, can't wait to hear more. Time now to look at the headlines across New York.